mobile devices, it's a growing trend. There is no doubt about it. All your smartphone is today is a computer that allows you to be connected at all times. If you could take your big PC and strap it to your head, it could be the same thing. This just now fits in your hand. They're too ubiquitous. They're in everybody's hand. Everybody's face is in their cell phone. That's where the market is going. Mobile technology in the medical device field has become such a hot trend because of the visual responsiveness that it offers to the physicians and the consumer. If you incorporate that into your medical device, there's so many things that you can do. You can display data in beautiful graphs. You can have these fancy user interfaces that everyone has become so accustomed to. So if you have a customer that says, if you give me this interface on this device and I can interact with this device from 20 feet away instead of having to stand right on top of it, it's gonna allow me to give better patient care. It's gonna allow me to have the best information immediately instead of having to work with the device itself. There was always a hesitancy in the past to incorporate a mobile device into your medical device. And that's because of the growing concerns, which are valid, around an off-the-shelf commercially available product like an iPhone. The regulatory agencies, they could care about these things because their job is to protect the consumer. They want you to create products they don't want to stifle your innovation, but they want to make sure that you're doing the right thing, creating products that are safe for the patient. And with these mobile devices, it opens up an opportunity for there to be more risk to the patient. Say you do an iOS update, and now your software doesn't work. Well, that's a concern that you need to deal with. The challenge in incorporating these medical devices is making sure that you're approaching it the right way in your process and making sure that you're handling the necessary risks so that you can have a successful submission. With the sudden eruption of commercially available mobile devices, a lot of the pioneers of the industry, they're finding ways to incorporate them into their medical device system. Say the device is an infusion pump and it's delivering doses. Well now, as a physician, you can see when these doses are occurring, you can graph them, you can visually take that data out of the implant, and now you have it as a record for your use in evaluating the best treatment for your patient. It's basically paving the path forward, and I think most of the devices and products that we're going to see in the future are going to incorporate some aspect of a mobile device. Before mobile devices came into the picture, it was very common to see a system like this, where you would have an implant device that was somewhere inside your body, and you would have an external device that would communicate to it through RF. You could use this to program the device and maybe update device. Um, but now, what you notice is that these devices, they're, they're not very sexy, you don't kind of have all the tools that you're used to in a commercially available mobile device. So the trend nowadays is to enhance these products with mobile devices like an iPad. So what you would see nowadays is a three-tiered system where you would have a mobile device talking to these medical devices using some sort of technology like Bluetooth or Bluetooth Low Energy. And so for the past several years, we've been extremely involved in many different technologies of incorporating mobile devices into a medical application. Sterling Medical Devices is equipped to do all sorts of development on these devices. We do software development, we do full system development, and we also partake in the hardware development. For most clients, the quick and easiest path is to incorporate a mobile device like an iPhone or an iPad into an existing implant. Other options are to create your own mobile device and we have experience doing that as well and have gone through the challenges and understand that space. And we've worked with many devices that have gotten approved, that have been developed successfully. And we've learned through that process all of the areas to look out for. And we've learned the ways to develop the products so that we can successfully get an FDA approval on them. Working at Sterling for nine years, my excitement hasn't changed. I've always been excited about the things that I do in terms of developing these innovative products that will, in the end, help improve someone's quality of life. And that's really one of the biggest joys 
that I get out of working at Sterling Medical Devices. This is the only thing we do. Our experience in developing devices in a regulatory environment and understanding that process fully is, I think, the main advantage we bring to our clients.